vacuum advance on this, I just want it over here. So we're going to try both sides to see what it likes. Welcome back to uh, Tim's project car. Uh, today I'm working on the uh, vacuum advance and uh, did a couple of tests with the Oldsmobile. Okay, as the video shows, the uh, throttle response is quite good there and um, it, time will tell what, what the gas mileage is like with that car, but I, like any hot rod, it probably doesn't do as well as my Camry by any means. Um, but uh, getting to why this question existed was because I built what I consider to be kind of an in-between engine. The stock engines from the 70s that had EGR and catalytic converters and also the ported vacuum had very small cams. Uh, there were very, um, very little overlap. Um, so little as to, you could almost say they didn't have any, but technically there was a little bit. Um, and hot rod engines tend to have, well, no EGR, no catalytic converter, uh, a lot of overlap, and, you know, completely different engine setup. Mine is in between, and so I was wondering, is it possible that it still would prefer ported vacuum? One of the things I wanted to check for was to make sure that the engine would idle with all the timing in it and um, because that can be a, a problem and that's why ported vacuum was invented because uh, some of these smog motors uh, with too much timing they wouldn't idle and you could you ran out of adjustment on your idle screw so they came up with that invention but as it turns out on this motor it's very happy with 40 degrees at idle and when you blip the throttle it's it's quick um, so now that takes me to the next step, which will be in the next video, uh, dealing with the, the rate that the secondary is open and, and so on. But so far, where I'm at is I have the copper springs in. I started with the silver springs, then I switched to the copper springs. I've tried, I've tried both uh, ported vacuum and manifold vacuum, and uh, the engine likes the manifold vacuum. And so I think that sums it up. Um, unless you have trouble making it idle or you're getting a lot of spark knock, uh, manifold vacuum is probably the way to go.